Hi, I'm Amy, and this is my husband, Greg. That's me. I'm Ashlyn, and I'm married to Paul. That's me. And I'm Kyle. I'm Lauren. So, I'm Evan. I'm Jaden. And I'm Brooklyn. I'm Autumn. I'm Jensen. Hi, I'm Madeline. I'm Stevie. And, and we're, we're the Marriott's. Welcome to our large family vlog. Hey guys, hope you're having a great day today. Okay, it is now Thursday after Easter, so I haven't recorded it all. I did a little bit of a couple of snippets here. I've been working on my bedroom, so I have a little bit of something going on in here. But we had a fantastic weekend, and then this mama was tired. I was very, very tired. So Tuesday and Wednesday, and even today I slept in until about seven o'clock, and so that kind of allowed me to catch up on sleep. I don't usually like get to sleep in an entire day and catch up on my rest, and so it usually takes it about a week to catch up. So this is my slow moving week. So I haven't recorded anything. We haven't really done anything worthy of videoing. Like our house is still, I have dishes in my sink still from last night. Mess all over the house. My living room looks like this. I have got all my bedroom furniture sitting out there. So I am working really hard at getting my bedroom painted and done. And so today I got up and I'm like, okay, I just it's already almost going on eight and I'm like, I did I've not even drank my whole cup of coffee yet. I'm getting there. And then um I'm gonna do some dishes up. I'm gonna get some stuff out for meals today because we have just been eating the leftovers from Easter, which has been awesome. So it's like just grabbing last night we cooked some burgers. So I haven't had to make anything, which is really, really good. So today I'm gonna make some meals get them done, I'm not sure what, pressure cooker probably for something, and then just get the house somewhat picked up, nothing crazy. Um, and then my goal is to get my room done today. So I painted, I'm gonna show you all the clips of everything I did, and then um, we'll just, I'll roll yesterday's and then I'll roll them into today's. <laughs> so then you can just see what my progress is doing. So, okay, this moment's gonna get to work. I'll show you, okay, this moment's gonna get to work. Okay, so all I did was go in the freezer and got my yellow, this is, a, it's got yellow, I put their yellow rice in it, and it's um, actually, this is the one from uh, Janita Warfield. I just remember that because it was really good. It was the chicken, the black beans, corn, and tomatoes. So I have to put it with yellow rice. I don't have yellow rice because it's gone, so I put on a little note on there to mix it with turmeric. So I'm gonna do that. Husband's birthday is today, so I'm gonna make him some ribs. So now I'm just gonna leave this mess, and I can clean up and let the kids do that today, and I'm gonna go work in the bedroom. Okay, so I'm painting away. I did this room, it's pretty much the same color. It, this They just used an eggshell and I'm using a semi-gloss so I can wipe it off easier. So I did one coat yesterday. The walls where the sun hits, you can see the streaks of where I painted. So I am gonna, my furniture takes up a lot of space in the room and it covers a lot of the walls. So what I'm doing is I'm going over again where you're gonna actually see. Cause we have a, a nightstand and a whole bed frame that or bed backboard that's gonna go up headboard that's gonna go there. So I'm just gonna do another coat on top where you're actually gonna see because my thought was the room's gonna stay put, not gonna move it. If we ever do move 
we'll probably just have to repaint the house or they're gonna wanna paint. They probably won't this dark stuff anyway. So I'm gonna do that as a time saver. So I'm trying to go in the same direction with the paint roller because this wall you will see. Um, this one you're not really gonna see because there's a big giant dresser so I'm not worried about that. But the bottom, you do. So I made sure to go over top of that. So okay, I'm gonna change out my batteries and keep painting. Okay, so now I did all my blue. I feel like I'm done. So now I'm gonna just go over with my white, just the place they're gonna be shown, because there's a couple spots where it's shown through. Not a professional hair, just a mama. Okay, so I got my room all empty, put my mattresses up against the window. I brought all my bed in right now. So I have a clean room, empty room, and I'm gonna start putting my bed together. So I just took the other frame out, and now I'm going to assemble this one. So I'm gonna show you how long it's gonna take for a mom, homemaker mom, to do this all by herself. I'm thankful my furniture is all in one piece. I didn't have to put that together, and I'm gonna show you that and why it's a good deal to buy that versus the stuff you have to put together. So this is the, um, it's a platform bed, it's got a headboard, so I'm excited. I got it off Amazon. I'll put a link in the description below of what the things that I got. So put this together as a mama all by herself. We carry it in here and now we'll get it put together. Okay, so all the pieces are marked perfectly, like unwrapped, really good condition. What I love now is that all the little tools in this little thing, and then they've got all the tools in here. I know even when we put together, um, i trying to think of what we put together. We put something together and it had a level in it. I'm like, genius, you don't have to go get any tools. They're getting smarter and smarter. So all these in here are labeled. I'm gonna start taking this apart and doing my bit, all the pieces. This would be good.
Okay, I'm putting the, this black piece on here, and I came to one where it was not going to anything. I'm like, what the heck? Why is that not going in? So I just called Colin up here, and it was just kind of like it was clogged. It was pushed in further. So all he did was take a screwdriver and jam it in there, and then it was able to go on. So I was like, oh my goodness, how can mamas do this by themselves? But that was all you do. If you ever get it where the bolt thing won't go in the thread, stick like a long screwdriver in there and then pull out. There was just a bunch of wood. So now I'm going to get that back in. Why not? <laughs> okay, so I thought I needed my boys to do that, but you don't need anybody here. You can just screw the pieces in and then hook them on. That's genius, you don't have to do this. So you can technically do this all by yourself. Now I'm gonna tell you. Okay, taking a break for lunch because I'm starving. The girls made this for me. They're doing lunch and meals and, well not meals, but cleaning and all that out there and the kids are just playing. I'm trying to get this done because can't really do a whole lot else when you have furniture in your living room. Remember back in the day when you had to put the slats on? Ugh, pain the butt. This is all tied together. Slide it out. So now I'm going to screw it down and then the bed is finished. Thank goodness it took. What time is it? It is. I'll have to look and see. Okay. Okay, so this took me two hours from the time I started, but I stopped, had to take a business call, stopped, take care of kids, stopped, had to do a few things, so, I mean, two, and then I had that little problem with that little bolt, but whatever, but this is good, it's not bad. It's not okay, now we're gonna see whether we put both mattresses on here or not, because I love my lull mattress, 
And so that's my top one. My other one is just our cheaper memory foam. So I'm gonna see, I'd like to have two because I know sometimes with mattresses you can start feeling the stuff underneath if you don't have anything not always I don't know if you can feel that with a lull because it's more expensive I know my old one I could a little bit so I'm hoping two won't be too tall so we're gonna find out right now I like it. I'll put my pillows on a little bit here. So now I'm gonna bring my furniture and see how it fits because it's heavy. Okay, these are the wood pieces that I got. These are from um, Signature Design by Ashley. This is what I got. No, not sponsored. Um, off Amazon. So what I liked about it is I looked at multiple pieces of furniture from Amazon because I need new furniture in here, and most of it you have to put all together. This was one that came all together. All I had to do was put the handles on. So I'm gonna show you that clip here. So that's what's awesome about it. It comes assembled. And it's, I mean, it's still the particle board. It's heavy. They're very heavy. Oh my goodness, these are heavy. So something has to be solid when I, I don't know, my husband would know that. But they're still good or good little nightstands. So I know this fits like right across my wall here. I'm gonna put those up here. And then it also comes with um, two port USB chargers. So I believe the picture shows you can plug it in to the wall. Glare. So we're gonna put those on now. So I got one for myself, one for my husband. I love it because we have chores now. We have like real furniture. <laughs> so this will be good. So we're gonna put these against the wall. So Amazon, great deal. Just look at the other prices, the other stuff, and they might um, be maybe. I don't know. I'm pretty sure they're about the same price. I'm pretty sure they work. So I was like, ooh, that's kind of cool. But this all comes together. They deliver it right to your thing. You take off the box, you look at it, and you say yes, it's good, and then you keep it. So we're gonna put these out now. Okay, Evan and I got this one in, heavy. So he just got home just in time, so he's gonna push this one in. Okay, so this is the new one I got here, so this is not gonna be a dresser, <laughs> this is going to be Amy's holder of everything because I have craft stuff and like a lot of stuff that was under my bed we don't have a lot of storage so that's what this one's gonna be because all my clothes are in my closet and I have plenty of space this will be for my husband and then we have our nightstands here so okay now we're gonna organize those okay oops delete me I forgot that I have a whole computer desk to put together I'm like oh my goodness so instead of filling all these things up I'm gonna fill the, do make the desk because it is out in the living room and it's so so heavy so I'll probably I might go up there and put it together and we'll see. Mm -hmm. I'll still have to start the apartment suit, so I'm gonna go back to the living room and grab the desk that I got and get that set up because the chair, I got a new computer chair for my husband for his birthday, so the, kind of like the desk. I mean, I got a new living room, so the bedroom set too, but the, the new comfy chair will be good for him. Okay, so the desk is super, super heavy. This one's from Solder. And so I wanted something that hides my com husband's computer tower, 
my goals to get this done. I was just like, ooh, I was looking forward to organizing my drawers, but I feel like I need to get this done because this is the, the true happiness for my husband. I know he'll be happy the bedroom's done, but he's not really gonna care if the dresser's up. He wants to see his computer at desk and have a nice comfy chair to sit in, so I'm gonna focus on getting that done. So there's like a thousand pieces. I'm like, oh, where's Lauren when I need her? Because Lauren loves doing this. So I'm just gonna show you snippets of it, of me putting this together. So let's just go. Oh, and Evan did something the best ever. He went and got me something. Hold on, let me show you. <sighs> you got something my mama could use. Caramel macchiato. So this mama's gonna drink this. And I'll put this all together. It's gonna take me some time. Put some Google music on, we're gonna go. I got the, one of my new favorites is the Big Daddy Weave song, Alive. So I'm gonna have that played, hopefully some other good songs after that. Okay, I just messed up and I had to move these legs around. I was like thinking about this, I'm like, oh my goodness, it's getting later and later in my day, but that's okay, because all I had planned for the day was to put my bedroom together, even though I'm not gonna be able to organize it, or maybe I will, we'll see how late my husband gets home. But I was thinking of my father-in-law, he always said, how do you eat elephant, Amy? And I'm like, I don't know, how do you eat elephant? Joe, and he says, one bite at a time. So that's how you put together a desk that's got 10,000 pieces, one bite at a time. So. I'm gonna get this moving and grooving here. We're gonna get this done. I'm gonna get this done. And then tomorrow I can organize, right? As long as I get one thing done in a day, that's a good thing. So we're on like, I got half the steps done. So we're gonna keep on rolling and rolling.
Okay, so I've been working all, all day, which is good. It's about 3.30 now. I know it's getting close to dinner. So the great thing about having freezer meals is I can throw some freezer meal in. So I'm gonna put in my um, my my chicken one. Remember the one from Juanita? What, Jan Juanita, Janita, sorry, sorry, sorry. Somebody set up the other way one time, so that's why it throws me off. So I'm gonna throw this in the pressure cooker. That's gonna be dinner, because we have a lot of veggies, a lot of fruit, simple, easy dinner, and then I'm gonna put some ribs in the oven for my husband, but I don't think he's gonna eat tonight, because he is, it's birthday, and they're going fishing, so I'm like, yay. Yay, because I can get this stuff done, because I'm just gonna work. You're seeing a tired side of Amy today. <laughs> but I'm determined to get this bedroom put up, and then tomorrow I'll be able to organize it, and that'll be so much easier. So let's throw this in the pressure cooker and make a quick meal. Okay, so that's why you would do a freezer meal because I just threw that in here and I believe it takes 20 minutes and it's finished. The ribs are in the oven. I would have normally like added way more fresh onions and a whole bunch of stuff, but tonight is just a hurry night because I'm trying to get everything done. So I put some dehydrated onions, that worked. And then um, I had a whole thing of, what's this stuff called? Barbecue sauce. So now the girls made a plate of veggies and fruit. I told them to make a healthy plate. So we pulled this out so they can munch on it and then have a little bit of leftover nacho material. We have some meat, we have five beans, and I pull out a cheese. So we can have the rice and then like a little plate of nachos. So that's gonna be dinner tonight. Easy. I'm going back to the desk to get that done. Okay, I stopped showing you steps a long time ago because I was getting very tired. On to step 20, I think we have 34 to go. I don't even know. Yes. Next thing is for a ride. Oh, actually, I'm almost there. I'm like 24 steps. Yay, 20. Okay, we're on 20. Making the drawers. We're doing this. Okay, got this, mamas. Just do it one. You got a job to do. Don't wait for you, honey. You can do this. Just take your time and get it done. One less thing he'll have to do, and he'll be very thankful for that. Evan and I brought this in here. Oh my goodness, we dropped it and the side busted off. Yes, that was not good. So we had to do a quick fix over here. I just didn't have the cams close in, but we got them in here. So it's in, and then I realized in the drawers they have adjustments. Hello. Okay, I didn't realize the drawers. I finally got them to shut without making noise. I didn't realize they have little adjusters here. 
So you just slide up and down. Hello. So if it needs to go up, you do the opposite and you go down. My back one has got the wrong screw, so this side's a little loose. I just have to get the right one. But it's fixed. I was like, thank you, Jesus. But yeah, this side, that side fell off. I was like, eh, I just didn't have it hooked in. So, okay, so we got the furniture in. Now I must work on, so I don't even know. Maybe I'm going to change the color of my comforter. I feel like it's so dark, but we'll see. I might. And that's it. Got this one over here. And then a mess everywhere. I have stuff everywhere. Kids have been ro red, running free, running wild. Free. Freedom. Max, where, Maxine's like running wild, crazy. Okay, we gotta get dinner now. Let's go to dinner. Okay, so we're still eating, munching, and then, like I said, it's Daddy's birthday. He's going fishing, so I was like, eh, no big deal, I've got ribs. I don't even know if hook rat foods, but I'm like, ah, the wife guilt, I should've made a dessert. <laughs> then I'm like, you know what? He might not want anything. And we're gonna go out to dinner, so I'm not worried about that. But I was thinking about it. I bought ice cream, because one of my viewers, let me get here. Tressa's stay at home life, she always shares her recipes, and she is really good. So. I told her I would make mine. She does a cooking channel. So you can go check out her channel. I'll put the, I'll put her channel below mine. And this is the recipe for chocolate cobbler. You take two sticks of butter, one and a quarter cup of sugar, one and a half cup of self rising flour, one teaspoon of vanilla, and three quarter cup of milk. We are gonna put that all together. And then, oh actually no we're not, hold on. Nope. Then, just let me say right, then chocolate layer, one cup of sugar, six tablespoons of cocoa powder, Two table, two cups, I can't talk, I'm very, very tired. Two cups of boiling water. So this is how you're gonna do it. Jane's just gonna do it for you. So I'm gonna tell you how I'm not gonna wrap this recipe because this is hers. You're gonna preheat your oven to 350 and in a nine by 13 glass baking, you're gonna melt two sticks of butter in the oven. Then meanwhile, in a bowl, you're gonna mix together one and a quarter cup of sugar, flour, vanilla, and milk. Once the butter is melted, pour it over the butter, but don't stir. Oh, interesting. In a separate bowl, mix the cocoa and remaining sugar. Sprinkle the cocoa sugar mixture on top of the batter, but don't stir. Pour two cups of boiling water on top of that, but don't stir it in. Bake for 30 to 45 minutes. Okay, that's interesting. My mom used to make a cake called like chocolate, Hershey's chocolate lava cake or something. Okay. And I feel like this sounds like it. Like I remember you cut into it and like all the gooey chocolate will come oozing out. I don't know if that's gonna be. We're gonna find out or maybe she, Maybe, maybe it's just delicious. Anyways, it's her chocolate cobbler. So we're gonna make this for Daddy so when he comes home he can have a dessert because I'm putting together furniture that's, it's like 12 o'clock at night. That's not really good. <laughs> okay, so Jane's gonna do that for me. Thank you. And Brooklyn's gonna wash dishes, so everybody's helping. Okay, Jane.
Oh, okay, so we are gonna, yes, I'm gonna have a long way to go decorating here. I'm thinking like some kind of colored comfort, I don't know what. We just mentioned like yellow and white, something like that. One of my viewers actually was gonna send me their old comfort, their comfort they never used. So I'm gonna put, hopefully put on, hopefully that'll work good. And then we need some color. These might be a little too bright, but it's good. I like it. We got daddy's up here put up, got that on the wall. So now I have to organize and do all that, but I don't know how far we'll get to it. I hear Jaden's dessert. Let's go check the dessert. Okay, so Jaden got her cob. Okay, so I don't know what this cobbler looks like when I was a kid. It was hard on top and then it was crispy inside. This is more gooey on top. It still tastes delicious. Okay, so this is how the way our cobbler turned out. It's really good. It would be really good on vanilla ice cream. I'm feeling very sinusy right now. Delicious, so go check out Tressa. I feel like it should be crunchy on top. Is it supposed to be crunchy? So I didn't, I didn't even see her make it, so I don't know how it was made, but this is really good. Very good little dessert to have over ice cream, so if husband gets home, he can do that. So I'm gonna close this video. It has been the longest day of my life. I feel a little crink in my neck. <laughs> this mama's gonna tuck kids into bed and go lay in my bed for the night. So you guys have a great day today, and I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow, probably with a more normal life of the day, and packing up my room, putting stuff in my room. So we'll see you tomorrow, bye-bye.